Quick at about noon, just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. This right here is a door kitchen. What is a door kitchen for? It is for you. It's for your sanity, your safety. It's their sanctuary. Most people will say, hey, actually I got a question on TikTok and I'm going to do a, a, a version on my phone. God says, uh, hey, do you let the pup sleep in the bed? I said, no. Not at all. It is imperative that we get a routine. That way when we go out, meaning, hey, it's time to go outside, it's time to go on a walk, it's time to go work. The dog's minds are prepared for different parts of the day for them to basically enjoy our time. If you have a schedule, it's important to put your dog on a schedule. That's what the cage is for, to get the dog accustomed to a schedule. I don't care what nobody says. No dog like no human being should be roaming around your house all day. And the only time you can get to that point is after the dog knows who it is and understands its boundaries. That's what the crate is for. And let me be very honest in this and making sure you guys understand. This is difficult. We still have pups here. And Bam Bam and Chacha are in here right now because the pups are outside. I'm breaking. I'm getting them on, on my schedule. So we can go on our walks. They put a mile on, on and myself. We go on our walks, we do some of our training, I let them go outside and use the bathroom, spend some time together, because they will be together for the duration of their lives for the most part. So, it's four o'clock in the morning. They'll go over here with their siblings and go straight to sleep, relax, they got this whole thing, they know where to go poop and pee. But instead of me doing that, what I do, I get up, take them outside, because I need them to get used to this and get in our routine so that we can practice good habits. The crate, slash cage is a home inside of a home. It's like your dog having its own room. You wouldn't want your kid's stuff all over the place. It needs a designated area to enjoy some of its time. And if you do have a dog that's lived with you well, it's got a bed, like we got some beds there. What's that? We got videos uh, on social media where Zara, Tron, and Ego sleep on those beds. At some point, they always find their way to my bed. But for the most part, off the bed. And they go lay on their beds. I make sure they have memory foam in them jokers. So they're living. They're in some good beds. But I need my space too, right? They take up too much space. We're talking about 70, 80 pound dogs that are 20 inches consumed. I mean, and they're hot. The average dog temperature is between 100, 101 and 102.5. So you go, man, I need to be cool at night. They got to get off me. I own my pillows on your back. Move. That's why you create that that's both separation and the cage begins to teach them the difference. Uh, uh, it helps them manage their anxiety. You leave and you go in. And if you build great habits early, you can solve for a lot of problems long term. Otherwise, whew, God bless you. So, even when I want to break suit, I'm tired. I'm like, hey, I'll grab the one whining because they're teaching me how to communicate. They're communicating with me. If I'm not paying attention, I start creating problems. They whine, they go out to use the bathroom. I let them know, you're going back to the cage. That's it. That's it. That's all. Now it's not the time for us to go do things. It's four in the morning. In the morning, you feed them at night or depending on what you feed your dogs. They need to have a routine. This is the beginning of a routine and break and creating good habits so you can sustain building you guys' relationship and have peace, especially inside of your home. As always, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs.